welcome back to online classroom Jekudio. In this video, we are going to take a look at solution, suspension, and colloid. In this video, you will find a lot of new words and new terms, but don't worry, they are actually very simple. Let's go. The first three words that you're going to look at is solute, solvent, and solution. Let's look at this picture here. Have you ever tried to make sugar water? How do you make that? Well, we put a spoonful of sugar into a glass of water and we stir it. Then we get sugar water. So each of these has their own name. Solute is a substance that can dissolve in a liquid. And normally we use a small amount of solute. So in this example, the solute will be the sugar. And the solvent is the liquid that we use to dissolve the substance earlier, to dissolve the solute. So in this example, what is the solvent that we use? That's right, it's water. And solution is the mixture form or the result of dissolving solute in solvent. So in this example, the solution will be sugar water. How about we make salt water? We will put a spoonful of salt in a glass of water and it will form salt water. So same thing, the solute will be the salt, the solvent is water, and the solution will be the salt water. You get the idea, right? And for solution, there are three different types of solution. Dilute solution, concentrated solution, and also saturated solution. What are the difference between these three? For dilute solution, there's only a little bit of solute in it. Okay, so it can dissolve more solute. It has a lot more space. How about concentrated solution? Concentrated solution has a lot more amount of solute in the solvent and it can only dissolve a little bit more solute, just a little bit, okay, compared to dilute solution. If these two are the sugar water, the dilute solution, the dilute sugar solution will be less sweet. And for the concentrated sugar solution will be more sweet it will be it will be sweeter com uh, compared to the dilute solution how about saturated solution saturated solution is when you add in a lot of sugar you add in a lot of solute until you cannot dissolve it anymore it has excess or the maximum amount of solute in the solvent it cannot dissolve any more solute. For example, if I add in more solute in the example just now, if I add in more sugar and stir it, it still it, it will still not dissolve and it will sink to the bottom and form precipitate. Precipitate means you can see those sugar at the bottom of the glass. It will not dissolve anymore. It is the maximum. So dilute solution, well, if, if we use the sugar water as example, dilute solution will be the least sweet. It is not sweet, just a little bit sweet, okay? And concentrated solution will be sweeter. And the saturated solution of sugar, oh, I don't think I want to even taste it, as it will be very, very, super, extremely sweet. Okay, so you get the idea, dilute solution, concentrated solution, and saturated solution. So by now, we have learned six new words, solute, solvent, solution, and there's three different types of solution. They're easy, right? Let's move on. Well, just now we add in a tablespoon or a spoonful of sugar into water and we know they will form sugar water. How about I replace sugar with sand? If I add in a spoonful of sand into a glass of water and I stir it, what will happen? You will get something like this, right? You will still see the soil in the water. They will not dissolve. So what is this called? This is not a solution. 
This is what we call a suspension. What is a suspension? Suspension is a cloudy mixture formed from undissolved solute particles in a solvent. For example, if you stir in a sand, you can still see those flat sand floating around, swimming around in the water, right? It makes your mixture cloudy. So this is a suspension. Let's compare between solution and suspension. As we have seen earlier, as, as an example for uh, solution will be sugar water, and an, one example for suspension will be the sand water. So solution is a clear mixture when solute dissolved in a solvent. A suspension is a cloudy mixture. That means it's not clear. You can see here it is very cloudy. All right, formed from undissolved solute particles in a solvent. Also, if we flash a torch light across solution and suspension, they give different they give different results. For solution, it will allow light to pass through, whereas suspension will prevent light from passing through. If we if we filter them solution, you will find that there's no residue left on the filter paper. If you try to filter the solution, for example, if we filter the sugar water, we pour it in, and the water that came out that comes out at the conical flask here will still be sugar water, and on your filter paper it should be clean. There will be no sugar left here because you cannot separate it fil uh, through filtration how about suspension suspension if we try to filter the suspension we will find some residue at the filter paper so the sand water if we filter it we will see the sand being uh, left behind at the filter paper here and for solution and suspension if we leave them on the table for a while you will find that the solution will not settle. If we don't disturb it, we leave it undisturbed for a while, it will still be sugar water. The sugar and water does not separate. But for suspension, for example, sand water, it will settle. If we don't disturb it and leave it alone for a while, you will see that the sand will eventually settle at the bottom of the glass. So that is suspension. Now I have a question for you. How about milk? Will milk be solution or suspension? Is it a solution? I don't think so because if we flash a torch light through the milk, it will not allow the light to pass through. How about suspension? I don't think it's suspension too. Why? Because if we leave the milk alone for a while, milk and water does not separate. So, it is not solution, it is not suspension. We are going to look at a new word called colloid. Okay, milk is colloid. What is colloid? Colloid is a mixture of two or more solutes dispersed evenly in a solvent and it does not form a clear mixture like solution. It also does not precipitate. Precipitate means if we leave it alone for a while, they do not separate. It does not form two layers. And it is actually in between. It is an intermediate, meaning it is in between solution and suspension. So for solution, you don't see the solute. It dissolves in water or the solvent. It will form a clear solution. For suspension, it, you can actually see the solute and they actually will settle if you leave it alone for a while. But colloid, it will not settle and it is also not clear. So it is in between solution and suspension. What are some other examples of colloids in our daily life? Well, we have seen that milk is a form of colloid. Another example will be shaving cream and even whipping cream that you use on your dessert. Mayonnaise, yogurt, lotion, these are all examples of colloids. Well, I hope you can remember all the new words that you have learned today. Tekutio will see you in the next video, okay? Bye! 
If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.